Training special investigators of Uganda police on sexual gender-based violence cases will bridge the gap of justice for vulnerable victims. That is exactly has been the problem, that uh, we may have general CIDs who just know how to investigate general crimes, robberies, thefts, and yet these uh, sexual offenses, especially regarding to even special categories like children, require special skills. The way you interview um, an adult is not the way you interview a child. Officers in different police territorial commands are warned about the connivance with the parents in covering up sexual gender violence cases. That when you try to, uh, to cover up defilement cases and cases against children and women, you are committing, you are also participating to commit a very serious crime. First of all, parents and guardians and teachers have a duty to protect these children. They should protect the scene, they should protect the victims and they don't uh, spoil the evidence. Protecting the victim, you mean you, you don't wash them, you don't change their clothes, you, you don't harass them, you keep them until the police collects all the evidence. For UNICEF and Uganda police are joining their hands in this struggle to eliminate sexual gender-based violence in communities. UNICEF is recommending institutionalizing the training based on the scope of the vice. Institutionalization, we want to make sure that there is proper training for all cadres within uh, law enforcement, within judicial, but also medical, medical officers. This should not be one-off training. It should be part of the community engagement. It should be part of government initiative to make sure that all personnel, they are trained in, on how to protect children. Men are advised to take their reports of harassment and any kind of violence to the police to seek justice. So sometimes they think when they come out, they will be looked at as if they are less, uh, they, they, they are not men enough to handle family affairs. But we encourage them that they should also come out and complain and their cases will be investigated. Mentioning ourselves that victims have different entry points. Some come at police while others go to the health centers. So what you are supposed to do at police is the same we expect from the health centers when you receive these victims who have not yet reached at police. Uganda police still faces limited specialists to work on the isolated cases like sexual gender-based violence and has to depend on non-state actors. Abdul Nasili Lubwama, UBC News.